During the pandemic, Hyundai decided it's time to reface the Santa Fe, but then they thought, let's make it better than it ever was. So in talking to some of the designers and product planners, they said, this is our opportunity to make the Santa Fe something we've always wanted. So they got the designers together and said, we want something that we can use off-road, that people can use every single day, that has the ability for overlanding, which is the new hottest thing. Instead of staying in a hotel, you sleep in your car. You may not do that. That's not my thing, it might be your thing. But what they did is they looked at other vehicles that fit that market segment, and that was Land Rover. Now, whether they're gonna say it or not, I'm gonna tell you, if you think you wanna buy a Land Rover, you need to look at the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Let's take a walk around this, and I'm gonna show you what makes this car really cool, really special. And I think Land Rover's not gonna be so happy because you know what? These vehicles aren't gonna be sitting in the shop like a lot of Land Rovers are, and it's a fraction of the price and less insurance. So what is a 2024 Hyundai Palisade? Well, it's completely different. It is a front engine, all wheel drive or front wheel drive SUV that seats six or seven people, depending upon which trim level you buy and which seats you get. And we'll talk about all that in a second, but the exterior is dramatically different. It's almost a Lego block looking. We're hearing a lot of different people say different things, but I kind of like that Lego block, bold, strong design. This is completely different from what you've seen before. And you do need to see it in person because I really like it. At first I thought, eh, when I looked at the pictures, but now that I see it in person, I love it. First thing you're gonna note is this H here, the H in the headlight. That H carries everywhere. There's a lot of little Easter eggs. The designers had a great time, again, it's during the pandemic. So they figured, you know what? Let's make this really, really cool and special and different, and they did. So you've got that H in the daytime running lights. Also that light bar running all the way across the front. Again, creating that H effect, you're gonna see it everywhere. They've really gone too far. H in the Honda, Hyundai logo, yes. And it's actually two people shaking hands. You'll note that it's all matte black or matte colors. There's matte colors in exterior colors. There's 12 exterior colors and six of them are just really different and very earth tone if you're looking for something that doesn't look like every other SUV. You'll also note that you've got lighting here, active vents, so you're gonna get better fuel efficiency. And underneath are skid plates that keep air really smooth. The smoother it is, the better fuel economy, the better performance and it does really well in a wind tunnel. If that doesn't mean anything to you, it really just means it's quieter on the road, better control, better contact with those tires down to the ground. There are cameras all around because you have that cool all around view camera. We'll show you that in a minute and you can play around with it. It's, it's really well done and designed, but this vehicle looks different. It is different inside and out. You have to see the rest of this vehicle. First thing you're gonna notice on the profile of this vehicle is it's a lot bigger. It's about almost two inches larger. It's about a half a foot shorter than a Palisade. So if you have a Palisade and you wanna just drive around town, that's fine. But if you wanna go off-roading like some light trails or maybe some heavier trails, go camping and actually have an adventurous vehicle, this is the one you're gonna to wanna to look at. They're very similar, slight differences, and there is cross shopping between the Palisade and the Santa Fe. That's the way they're planning it until probably the next Palisade is gonna be huge. So that's what we're guessing. So you're gonna notice this octagon shape going all the way around. You'll notice it on the wheel arches in the black. These wheels are matte black. These are 21 inch on the calligraphy. The entry level is 18, so they go 18, 19, 20, 21, depending on the trim level. There are four different trim levels. Nice bigger brakes as well. Santa Fe embossed right here on the fender. These mirrors on the off-road, the XRT, are gonna be black. It's gonna be a lot more blacked out, but also has a camera underneath, part of that around view. And you can connect all those to your phone. That's part of the app. So that Blue Link Plus is standard. It's for the lifetime of the vehicle. And that's really important because now if someone's in your garage, maybe someone door dings you, you can go on your app and go, oh, really? Because I got a picture of it now. So that would really help you with an insurance claim. So that's part of the things that they've done. Plus with that app, you could unlock the doors, lock the doors, you can start the car, all the things you could do on the app before, but now there's even more to it. And that's one of the nice things I really thought about using this and making that connectivity between your home and carrying, like if you've got a coffee and a water and something under your arm and you've got a kid on your other arm, we've all done that. Whatever you have, you can go to the door and it'll know you by your phone. You just take out your phone or you have it with you in your pocket, boom, it unlocks the door and you're in the vehicle. Now this is part of this new technology. Now where those pictures go, they go up into the cloud and then they're yours. However, like all this data, like I've been saying, you don't really know where it goes. So be careful what you're showing on the camera. 
So one of the nice things is starting the vehicle, getting everything done. You've got blacked out trim, privacy glass on the second and third row. And of course you've got a roof rack as well. Cause again, part of this outdoors is they're gonna offer tons of accessories. So you put a tent up there, a cargo container, whatever you want. They've got tons of accessories they can put into your lease or into your purchase. The dealer will have additional things. I do recommend that if you get the flat colors that they do offer, get paint protection because if not, a bee dropping, a bug dropping, you'll wipe it off because that's what we naturally do. You'll create what's called a high spot. You'll have a glossy spot and that could impact if you're least returning it. So get the paint protection in that case, it's absolutely worth it. Now, how do you get up here? How, how am I supposed to get up here? Well, they thought about that. People are, can't get up, we're all not so limber anymore. So in this panel here, which is the C pillar right behind the second row is a little panel and that panel pushes in and that is now a grip. So you put your foot on the tire and you can lift yourself right up. Put things into the cargo container, people hand it to you. Boom, you're up here. You wanna get down now so people don't have it wide open and collect stuff, you close it. So it was really thought about being an adventure type vehicle, which I thought was pretty cool. Gloss black down here. There's some matte black mixed in with it as well. And then you go into your third row area, more privacy glass, a lot of gloss and black mixed together. The ground height of this vehicle has not changed. The length is longer, it's bigger everywhere. So they've designed the interior of this car much like the exterior. Let's make it functional. Let's stop wasting space with a tapered off end, bigger square area meant more cargo capacity, more places to store. They took all these little components and said, what do people put in their car? Besides a lot of junk, golf clubs and kids stuff and whatever it is you do, they started designing the car based on that. So if you have a pair of sunglasses, they fit into the cup holders. There are two cup holders. In a way, you can put your sunglasses in there. Or maybe you wanna put your phone somewhere, it'll fit in there. And I have a bigger phone, a lot of people do, and there's no place to put them half the time. You end up like shoving it underneath your leg. Well, you won't have to do that. There's tons of storage in this vehicle, tons of places to charge. They really thought about that. The warranty on this is still 10 years, 100,000 miles, and there is a three year, 36,000 mile complimentary maintenance, which means it's gonna lower your overall cost of this vehicle. And that is absolutely worthwhile. Let's go around to the back and I'll show you some new features. Coming around to the back, this is where there are some huge improvements, starting with the wiper blade. What do I always say? Please don't leave it here. It looks ugly, parked down in the glass. They tucked it up underneath. Thank you for listening, Hyundai. I actually talked to one of the designers. He says, yeah, we hear you. We all watch your stuff, which is good. That makes me feel good. Uh, third brake light integrated here as well, all blacked out, keeping this really nice and clean. That matte Hyundai logo, the Santa Fe is a newer style logo, also matted out. Tail lights here, nice and clean. Camera here, as well as a camera here. Again, that around view camera collects all that data. Again, I don't know where the data goes. You can put that down in the comments below. You got marker lights here, uh, you can get towing as well. This vehicle really is designed well. Let's take a look at the interior. There's some unique features about the seat. You press this button, it's a full relaxation. And the seats go almost flat and you have a leg rest, you're too tired. We've all done this, you're driving, you're too tired. Well, this will allow you to take a nap. In the second row, this has captain's chairs with armrests child safety seat. All right, coming into the second row, there is more room than there was before. And of course there is an adjustment so you can go further back. Good when you have child safety seats here. Again, that bench seat is optional. Hooks here for hanging bags, whether it's berries, wine bottles, whatever it is you want, doesn't want to break. On the side of both front seats is an outlet. Always be charging, right? In the center console here, you can open it from the front, like we said, but you can also open it from the back. So if you got something in there, whether it's headphones or food or whatever, it's there. In addition, there is storage back here. This is actually a bin. It's deep, it's long, it goes, it's really got a lot of space for kids' stuff. In addition, you got pockets behind each one. You've got cup holders, you have vents in the B pillars, which is really nice. You can control that. Lighting up above, manual sunshades. I mean, this, this is loaded like a luxury car. And you're looking at the competition, which we'll talk about in the end, you're gonna see that two cup holders here. Typically you get one, two for each side, storage in the door, heated seats, three stage, both in the second row. So there's a lot of pluses here. If you want an armrest, you can adjust that too. This is starting to look a lot and a lot more like a Land Rover. The second row is really important because access to it and access to the third row is important. Captain's chairs, optional bench seats, really nice material. Leather seating surfaces in the center 
on the higher trim level. Otherwise, you're going to get an, a pleather or some other form of vegan leather. You can get cloth as well. Now, how do you get to the second row? That is the question. Well, on top of the seats here, you press this button. Seats move forward, out of the way. Really easy so that kids or adults can get in back. And it wasn't that difficult for me. Just slide it back here. Put your foot down and you're inside. We're in the third row of this midsize SUV. It is not a full size, so we shouldn't expect to have tons of room, but there is a lot of space back here because remember this vehicle is longer. Where you have is two child safety seats, which is great, and two in the second row. So four child safety seats could fit in this vehicle. But this is not a luxury car, but you're getting luxury items that you typically would not get. Let's start off with, you've got cup holders, two on each side. You've got vents on each side, USB-C charge ports on each side. And on the right side, you've got a rear air conditioning adjustment for climate, really nice, as well as a 115 wall outlet here. So they really thought about using it back. You're not making it a penalty box. You're not getting the sunroof directly on you. This could be uh, partly back, but in this case it's closed nice seating materials and there are hooks behind the second row seats and these hooks are really nice because if you've got a plastic bag or the kids want to bring something they can hang things on it they can hang their cords for their charging items and believe me they're going to know how to use these if you're not using this third row which is standard on all santa fe's you have captain's chairs or you can get a bench seat when it comes to safety all the safety is standard that's forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking standard adaptive cruise control with stop and go technology standard lane departure warning and lane keeping assist and those very very cool blind spot monitors that are in the gauges as well as remote parking which we've seen the smart parking as they call it and a driver attention warning in addition a round view camera which i'm really impressed with super crystal clear and the camera is based in the rearview mirror as well as far as technology, there are two 12.3 inch displays that are curved panoramic toward the driver, 6.6 .6 inch climate control and a 12 inch head up display, metallic vents. And also there are shelves to hold all kinds of items, whether it be a phone or a pacifier or keys, whatever it is you need. Electronic gear shifter to the steering column, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are wireless and standard UVC sterilization compartment in the glove box for moving germs from smartphones and wallets and small items. Available wood trim it contrasts with the metallic buttons and door panels and available Napa leather stamping with the checkerboard H logo on the headlights. The center console under the hood of the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe is a 2.5 liter turbocharged engine that has 277 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque. Backed by an eight-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, it comes front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. With a 4,500 pound towing capacity, fuel economy is 24 miles the gallon combined. Of course, depending upon whether you go all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive, it will alter it just a touch. Zero to 60 times 6.2 seconds. There is no plug-in hybrid planned for the U.S. And wheels come from 18 to 21 inch, depending upon the trim level. H-Track all-wheel drive is optional. There will be a 1.6 liter hybrid engine coming in the near future that'll have 178 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. Well, we are inside the brand new Hyundai Santa Fe with my co-driver, Al Vasquez. There's a link for his work down below. He's the number one YouTuber in Spanish, does great work. I wish I could understand everything you say though. <laughs> All right, so inside the Hyundai Santa Fe, we've driven one of these before, but now we're going the official drive of the production vehicle. There's a lot of changes. And like I said in the beginning, every time I spend time in this car, it's like they copied the Land Rover, the Range Rover, that same feel. First thing you see is this squared off steering wheel, and you're like, this looks like an Evoque. Like it kind of gives me that flavor. And then of course the controls, and oh, the only thing they're missing is the super high controls for the window lifts. Otherwise we're, we're, there's a lot of Hyundai in here as well. For the shifter, it's here on the stock. So park is here on the end. This is drive and then reverse. You got that around view camera that's also gonna work going forward. Lots of cameras on this car. This is pretty cool actually, cause you can see where you are. So I think that's pretty cool, especially when you're driving this vehicle, you don't wanna hit anything. So here we are in drive mode, we're in sport. There are different drive modes. There is a normal, there's a sport, there's a my drive and a snow. These vehicles come front wheel drive or all wheel drive. Unless you're buying the off-road, which is the XRT, then you're gonna be looking at off-road only comes all wheel drive and ice engine, the gas engine. There is a lot to this vehicle. First off, it is all new, 100%. Big glass visibility, excellent visibility. Looking out the back, you've got a rear view camera. That's also a rear view mirror. Uh, and I think that's kind of neat. So we'll leave it in the camera mode. You can see what's going on behind us. The overall drive seating position is higher. 
again, I keep thinking, keeps coming back to me, Evoke, Range Rover, they, they want that piece of that market, though it's not a huge market, but they want that more adventurous type. So this vehicle is very similar in size and flavor of the Palisade, but what you're seeing that's different is that this vehicle is more off-road. I mean, the Palisade's an everyday driver. Steering is nice, it's, it's super tight in the sport mode. A lot of changes when you change the different drive modes from the handling to the shift points, as to be expected. As far as what's in front of you, you've got two 12.3 inch screens. First thing you notice, so you got your navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. There's Blue Link, which comes with it for free. If you want the Blue Link Plus, they give you three years of it and then you purchase from there. Nobody else is offering that. Uh, I do like all the gauges that you're seeing in front of you and the fact that you can adjust them how you like it. A lot of cool technology here. I mean, just they really loaded it up with technology and connectivity. So there's a Wi-Fi hotspot as well, so you get your downloads. And we'll talk about all that in just a second. I wanna go through the vehicle first and then I'm gonna give you some information you may not be thinking about. So you've got your normal controls here for safety and for audio system, all of that, is, and of course, uh, cruise control, paddle shifters, I don't know, it's not a performance vehicle. We're driving the calligraphy, which is the top of the line. Uh, it's got with 270 horsepower, 311 pound-feet of torque, but it's not a performance car. But if you need it for hauling something or getting out of a tough spot, then the paddle shifters do make sense. They kept it as clean as possible, and that's blatantly obvious. On the left side of the screen is a button, and this is where I'm going to come into what I wanted to talk about. This button is a fingertip button, so you don't want to bring your phone with you. You want your personal settings. All this is wonderful for privacy and, and having everything the way you'd like it. But this is what I want you to be aware of. In front of you, on front of this steering wheel, between the gauges, is a little box that's tracking your eyes. In addition, your eyes are being tracked here in the rearview mirror. There's a couple different companies that track literally everyone in the car, not just me. They're tracking Al, anyone in the second or third row, that data is being collected. And we've talked about data on our channel, you can check that out, but why is all, why am I explaining this to you? Well, because of the infrastructure bill that passed in 2021, as of 2026, and every car manufacturer is adding it as quickly as they can, they're adding what they're calling the kill switch bill. So what that means for your safety, it's always for your safety. You give up your freedom when you have more safety, so you have to make your own decisions. But what they're doing is they're tracking your eyes, they're listening in the car, they're tracking the people in the car. Are you distracted? If so, you get a notification on the dash that says, hey, you're not paying attention. If you truly have some sort of issue where you're having a health issue, the car will actually contact 911. They have a special portion of the Blue Link system that will reach out for emergency services, they know where you are easily based on GPS. So when they do these automatic software downloads, they collect your data, they're also putting in new software and updating all the coolest, newest things. So if you have no problem with that, you're gonna love all the technology. If you don't like all this technology, you might wanna look at a previous gen uh, Santa Fe, which does not have all these cool features. Just wanted you to be aware. This does have state-of-the-art Bose audio system, beautiful aluminum screens here, all around the vehicle, the real aluminum. This is not real wood, although it is really nice. I mean, they really did a nice job. Leather seating surfaces, that, now to qualify that, that's just where your butt sits, not in not your back, on the calligraphy only. Otherwise, you're getting what they're calling h tex which is pleather, synthetic leather, vegan leather, whatever you want to call it. But there's also cloth on the base entry level. So it's good to know that these options are available. However, you can't get the leather on all trim levels or the cloth on all trim levels. Good, good to know that, and we covered that in seating. So as far as what else is available, beautiful, gigantic, 12-inch head-up screen, nice and bright. You can see them through these polarized sunglasses, which I think is important because it's bright outside and you want to be able to see, and having that information, including traffic sign recognition, all of the Hyundai Safety Suite is standard. Super smart because their competitors, in many cases, are charging up for that. Uh, one of my favorite features that is on this vehicle is when you put on your turn signal, I'll just do that now, you can see the camera on the right and on the left. That's for blind spot detection. Best in the business. I don't know why no other brands have it. Only Kia and Hyundai and Genesis have it. They're all part of the same sort of corporate business, but it is the best blind spot cameras in the business because you need to know what's going on around you and that's really important and I, I love them. I, I think it's that's a hands down winner for me. The first time for this vehicle is two wireless car chargers. They're 15 volts, so they're really fast. Many of them are only 12.5. This is 15. Shows all the charging here. You've got USB-C as well. But what this vehicle does have, very, very cool. In front of us, Al, I'll let you demonstrate here. 
there is a spot to put your phone and your phone goes in and you close that up and you get UVC. So you press this button here and 10 minutes, you can make a pacifier, uh, you can sanitize keys, uh, your phone. It was designed during COVID, but a lot of people like that, especially if you've got things that get dirty that like have possible germs, it doesn't clean them. It just takes away the germs. So it's, it's pretty cool stuff. You'll see a design details here. Uh, we talked about the outside, that letter H is carrying throughout. Again, we have that letter H, that H goes from end all the way to end. It's also illuminated. There are H's here and H's here. Everything is Hyundai. Acceleration is really nice in this vehicle. Very confidence building. Excellent brakes, well balanced, a uh, very precise. I, although there's lane centering and all these other safety features that are standard with Hyundai, overall this vehicle is really easy to drive. If you haven't driven a Santa Fe in a while, you'll find this vehicle to be longer, wider, lower. I mean, there's just so much more that if you're considering any of the competitors we'll talk about in just a minute, absolutely must take this for a drive. It is running for North American SUV of the year. Really good chance to being a final three. So one of the things that Hyundai did is they made more living space. They made it two inches taller, six inches longer, and two inches wider. So you could put a bed back here if you really wanted to. I mean, people are doing it. The test engineers did actually sleep in the back of this, and they said there was plenty of room. I guess for a twin size bed, it might be a little cl close, but if you gotta go to an event and there's no hotel rooms left or you really get stuck and you're driving somewhere, like I, I gotta take a nap, that could work. You could lay back here and it'll all work. Now let's talk about the cargo space. When it comes to cargo space with this seat up, you're gonna get 25 cubic feet of storage. Fold these seats down super easy. Boom, headrest, they fold down. Took like two seconds. Put down that second row and you're at 72 cubic feet of storage. That's enough for a bed. That is enough to go to Costco and buy the biggest TV they make or a ton of toilet paper. If there's another shortage, you at least have plenty of it because that's happened in the last pandemic. But overall, the materials here are nice. They're soft, they're actually a little fuzzy, beautiful color combinations. This is the calligraphy top of the lines. So we wanna show you all the possibilities and you can get what you want. Again, this is really nicely done. And underneath this cover here is a jack for a spare tire and some additional storage. All right, let's talk about the price of the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. I'm sure the first thing you're gonna think is what we thought, this is gonna be expensive, but it's not. It's super reasonably priced. And if you're comparing this to some of the competitors we'll talk about in a second, you will understand. First thing, let's look at the price. The entry level is the SE, $33,950, and you can get the entry level version, the same motor, same drive line, Different, of course, features and, and uh, technology. SEL starts at 36,000. The Limited starts at 43,000. If you want that off-road package, that's gonna have those 17 inch wheels with the 30 inch tires, more blacked out, more designed for off-road. That only comes in all wheel drive and it only comes with a gas engine for now. So that will be $40,600 less than the Limited vehicle. And the calligraphy, what we're looking at here is $46,500 as you see it. That's impressive everything you want right here as it sits. Now, some pros. I like the blocky Lego style. It kind of grows on you. At first, I thought it was kind of weird, but the more I've looked at it, the more it fits. It makes sense for what it's designed to do. I like the fact that this is an alternative to the Palisade. The Palisade's more of a daily driver. This is a vehicle you can use for literally anything, whether you're hauling snowmobiles or four-wheelers or whatever it is you like to do. A smart interior design, super smart in the optimization of the space for cargo. Fantastic. There is only one negative. There is no lumbar on the passenger seat. I have talked to them about that. I'm sure they're gonna make some changes because that's important when you're buying a car at that $46,000 window, you should have lumbar. It's not that expensive of a feature to add. Maybe we'll be seeing that in the near future. Now let's take a look at the long list of competitors besides the Hyundai Palisade, which is blatantly obvious, Toyota Grand Highlander, which we reviewed. You wanna check that out. We've reviewed all of these. The Jeep Grand Cherokee, the Honda Passport, Subaru Outback, the Ford Bronco, which I actually own a Bronco Raptor, Completely different vehicle, way more off-roady, much like the Jeep, completely different style, but in that same category, cross-shopping, the Land Rover Defender. And this does have components you can put on this to make it look like a Defender. Cool off-road stuff. Kia Telluride, Mazda CX-90. Now, how do you make a decision once you've figured out which vehicle you want? Before you make that final decision, it's not just the price of the car, please check with your insurance agent. We're finding prices all over the place. Insurance prices are substantially higher than they were, 50, 60% or more. And that's because they're collecting that data that I've been talking about and they're selling it to the insurance companies because they want it. The government wants it too and everybody else does to try and sell you something. So please do your homework, shop around at different apps. There's a couple of them like Get Jerry and a bunch of others. Find the best rate, get the best price on the car 
And then when you put the two together, you'll find out what meets best for you. Now, I'm sure you have additional questions when it comes to the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Put them down below. Let's start that conversation. All my social media, the links for everything are down below. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee or just stay a second longer and I'll give you another way to save some money on your cell phone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Lauren Fix. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. Have you ever thought, why in the world is my wireless bill so darn high? What are we paying all this money for? Speed, coverage, data, access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, mobile hotspots, we are partnering with Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile offers all of these features for as low as $15 per month. They're reimagining the wireless shopping experience and made it easy and online. No stores, no salespeople, just huge direct to you savings. Why should you pay more when you have access to premium wireless? Mint Mobile runs on the nation's largest 5G network. Whether you use your phone to watch YouTube, listen to podcasts or play games, you get the same speed and performance as the big guys while connecting to Mint's network. How hard is it to switch your service? Big Wireless wants you to think it's hard, but switching to Mint is super easy. Thanks to digital e-SIM cards, which most phones now have, you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home. And if your phone doesn't have an e-SIM, Mint will ship you a new SIM card for free. Just go to trymintmobile.com slash Lauren Fix, also linked in the description down below, to get premium wireless for $15 a month.